as a country, we have realized that the legal framework relating to asset management is inadequate and it requires reforms. Therefore, we have embarked on legal reforms so as to properly regulate the administration of seized and forfeited assets. The objective of the legal reform is to align our laws on asset management with international best practices that include, among others, the United Nations Convention Against Corruption Guidelines on Asset Management. It's become clear to us as external partners that no, no new challenge is too big for Zambia. We would like to commend the country for the work that has gone into the amendment of the Criminal Asset Recovery and Management Act to strengthen capacity of Zambia to manage seized and confiscated assets. We would also like to recognize the efforts of all the institutions in the interagency coordination mechanism on financial crimes that have contributed to this bill, as well as on actual cases. Asset recovery and asset management require a joint effort, and Zambia's progress in this area demonstrates the success as well as strength of its partnerships. I am comforted by the progress that Zambia through the interagency framework has made in finalizing the draft of the asset recovery and asset management bill. May I also take this opportunity to thank all the members of the interagency framework for their dedication and commitment to ensuring that the bill is finalized. It is government's expectation that the bill once enacted will enhance asset management and contribute to social economic development 